What is going on guys? Today we are looking at headliner Mikatarian again. This is just nuts. He's had now his third in form, which means his headliner has gone up to an 87 and he still hasn't had the four games on a trot. So he's still got the potential to become an 88 at some point without no more special in forms, just literally winning four matches in a row. I'm personally not clued up on if they have or are close to yet, but I haven't heard any rumors that they're one or two games away yet. So I'm only kind of just judging that he isn't. But I think this card is very underrated. He's coming in under 60k on both consoles, which I find mental because you'll see some of the clips. He's an actually fantastic player. Maybe not most the most meta player in the world, but definitely can do the business. So let's go into the review. Hopefully do enjoy. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button. We're going to try and get eight reviews out before reward. So definitely stick around for that. Make sure you go give a like on all of them. Let's get into it. So Mickey is a four-star skiller with the five-star weak foot. He is five foot ten. In game, he seems a hell of a lot smaller. I don't know if it's just playing against bigger opponents, but he is right-footed with a high, medium attack and two defensive. And in terms of trait-wise, we have got finesse shot, flair, and team player. So it works pretty well for him. He is a very kind of small agility player. 87, 90 on the agility balance. The dribbling in general looks pretty fantastic. Link that with the four-star skills and a five-star weak foot. Very, very nice indeed. Pace-wise, 85. Can't argue one bit. We've got 87 shooting. Um, obviously, 88 passing as well, which is kind of narrowed down a little bit with the 74 free kick accuracy, which, to be honest, I'm not really too fussed about. That is uh, somebody else's job in the team. We have got 80 aggression and 86 stamina. And I think the chem star that we're going to go for is obviously going to be a hunter. Just turn him into a 91 cam, 92 centre forward, or 90 striker. I feel like he plays wonderful in that centre forward cam role. Um, that that for me is his perfect role. Obviously, you can put him out wide. I think, I don't know if his talent is wasted as such there. It probably could do quite well, but I like him in centre. He's very small, very agile. And let's just go straight into the clips so I can explain it a little bit better. So with Mickey, honestly, he's just on fire all the time. He runs through and genuinely I thought the keeper was coming out. I was going to go and try and do a little bit of a rainbow flick as his first clip. But keeper didn't come out and he ended up just passing it around him basically. And again here, just seeing the dribble and it just fires straight past him. There is literally no effort there whatsoever. And we see him constantly making that darting run. We see him here. What a setup from Maradona. Honestly, just puts it on a plate and he absolutely rockets it. And it's time and time again we see this. And this is a little bit of bad defending from the opponent's half. Again, left stick dribble is very difficult mixed with a few little skills. We get very lucky on that one. Little bit of a uh, kind of turn against Adama. Get the uh, Berber spin. Little kind of ball roll inside and a finesse round him. You can't ask much better, and especially with that five-star weak foot, you don't necessarily have to worry what foot is on as such. And that's obviously a perfect thing to have. And we see it consistently with him. He is brilliant on the ball. Lovely ball from Cancelo into Figo. We then pull it back into Mickey again, and we just go to work with him. Go with a little finesse. We go with a spin here, and luckily he manages to kind of block us off. So going into the overall... For me, I, I just find it mind-boggling that he is only 60k. I understand that, obviously, he is hard to link. Armenian, not really anybody that you can link him with nationality-wise. Roma have a few okay players, but I don't think there's really massive amounts. Obviously, you've got a Bruno Perez, which we haven't seen them go up as of yet. So when the Europa does kick in again, we may see a higher version of that. And you'd probably have to get the headliner version, as obviously all the other informs are left forwards. So realistically, you're going to have to go for a headliner. Other than that, Smalling, not really going to link in with him that much. And to be honest, there's no one really meta that I would say is going to be amazing there. So I have gone with a little bit of a Mertens as a similar player. I feel like very small, agile. I think Mertens probably is a little bit better, but I think they're very similar in their kind of aspects. And then you have the link that is Martinez. I've just gone with a brand new team of the week just because there isn't really anybody else. Like it's just going and picking who out of the Serie A. Go and link it with uh, Team of the Year Ronaldo if you really want. There's no strong links really that you want to actually bring into him. But I think in general, this guy is going to be uh, 
hopefully fantastic in the future. We might see a little bit of a team of the season from him. Obviously, he has got plenty of links to go around. Lozano, Miklovic, Hernandez, plenty of headliners coming up against him. And in terms of generation-wise, because obviously he's been at a few clubs, obviously he started himself in Dortmund and did pretty well for a couple of years. Maybe got um, a team of the season in FIFA 16, where then he made his move to Manchester United, where... Literally, you look at that, four in forms, one man of the match. He then made a move to Arsenal. I personally, as a Man U fan, don't know why we got rid of him so harshly. I felt like he had a relatively good season. Maybe, I mean, it's quite a while ago now. We're talking, what, five years? But I thought he did quite well. So when he made the move and we got Sanchez instead, I was very unsure of why that happened. But it happened for a reason. And obviously he did okay at Arsenal. Nothing really too special. Then he made his move to Roma and it kind of kicked off again. He's always been one with specials. Shapeshifters, Summer Heat, Road to the Finals. Um, even one to watch is obviously for Roma. And this year again, three in forms, one headliner. He continues to roll out all of the specials. And honestly, I do like him as a card i think the hardest thing for me is linking him if you have got icons it makes it a little bit easier but you're going to have to run realistically a Serie a team to really get the full momentum out of him but in terms of stats as you can see i think if we look at the kind of like the l shape that i say you're looking pretty good yes no physicals but we can kind of deal with that he's very agile very quick on the turn and he's got a lovely little burst of pace especially if you whack that hunter on him 96 acceleration 94 sprint speed he's going to be pretty sick he's going to be really good and i think for 60k it's an absolute steal. His 86 is coming in already at 45, 36 for his 85, and 37 for his 83, because that obviously is quite a rare card. Now we've had three informed versions of him. So I think, for me, headliner uh, Mkhitaryan is going to be an absolute steal for 60k. If you're running a Serie A team and it's a bit of a low-budget one, this is a perfect card to get in that middle. Other than that, if you're playing him as a cam roll, Gomez is another cracking one, or Dybala if you finish that player moment. SBC. But overall, I think he's a cracking card. Yes, like I say, he's not he's not going to change your foot champs team. He's not going to bring in a million coin card and he's like the cheap beast of a Hullet or a Vieira. He's going to be someone who's very consistent. You can have a little bit of fun with him. He's got some skill moves. He's got the weak foot, the pace, the shooting, and overall just a nice card to play with. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And I'll see you all for the next one. Three more to go before the awards. Let's go. Peace.